In this video, I'd like to go over the Unify Protect mobile app. I'd like to show you the interface and what I like about it. First thing I'd like to show you is the ease of use on rearranging cameras. For example, you can hold down a camera, you can move it around. The system does not have pages. It is a continuously scrolling interface, which is nice because it's easy to just quickly go up and down and see what you want to see as far as the multi-view is concerned. Uh, the next thing is with the uh, at the bottom right corner you can actually see when the last major motion event was recorded you can see the name of the camera if you click on a camera what it'll do is it'll bring up a list of cameras that are available for you to select uh, for example this gym we can go back here on the right we can scroll up and we can actually instantly rewind the the cameras and see the motion that was captured at those specific times so for example here we can see there's a timestamp on the top right you can move that around if you so desire and we can actually pinch and zoom and we can get a more granular uh, look at what is going on right here we can see the different uh, actual uh, minute hashes here for whatever we're looking at we can zoom back out again so this uh, playback is second to none as far as the interface is concerned this is the best interface for ease of use we can click on this blue button at the bottom here this will bring us back to the live view if we click on this little man icon at the bottom this will actually bring us to the la the previous major events that have happened so for example if we tap on the screen it brings up this playback bar if we click the rewind button here it'll bring us back to the beginning of those major events so for example here there was probably somebody walking across the screen we can see the tab here we can see somebody walking across the screen there we can fast forward and rewind in 15 second intervals as well. So if I want to rewind 15 seconds, there's 15 seconds. Uh, if we want to go back here, we can go to another camera and we can actually rewind. And I'm also going to turn on audio. And there's audio. The audio on these cameras is absolutely fantastic. These cameras that I'm using are the uh, Unify uh, third gen Flex. Uh, these are a beautiful camera. I'm going to do a full review on these uh, in a couple videos coming up. Uh, we want to jump back to the live view. We're going to hit this button here. If we click on this, we can get a calendar which can actually tell us what days are available to actually go back to. So from right here, the uh, the furthest back I can go is the 29th. So we have four days of recording. Uh, that is with the standard uh, hard drive that has been installed on the Unify Cloud Key second gen. So we can select that. And then if we want to choose a specific time, we can just rewind. And it's the simplest and easiest interface uh, to use. I mean, I can see here, this is when there was a lot of uh, cars parked outside. If I'd like to, I can click on these little nine dots right here and it will bring me to this interface where I can actually either take a screenshot, I can click on clip export. So I can go in here and I can actually specify what time I would like for the video to start and end on. The interface is a little fiddly with uh, with these little cursor icons. I don't know if it's because I have very big fingers or if this is just something that needs to be improved. There we go. So now I can drag this to specifically what time I want. So I want to do two minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, two hour, uh, <laughs> let me try that again. Maybe I can get it right this time. Uh, 2 p.m. at 33 minutes and 28 seconds and I want it to end at 2 p.m. 33 minutes and 58 seconds uh, so this is what I'm specifying and I could either click on the little download icon right now or I can hit play and it will actually move this little uh, white cursor right here and it'll actually show me at what point I am in the video I can also click on here for the playback I can click on five frames per second 30 60 or 90 for the playback so when I actually go to play back the footage or export it, I can either do it in a slow motion, which would be the five frames per second, or I can export it as 90 frames per second, which would essentially be three times as fast, three X. Uh, again, when you click on this, it will download it to the device. We're gonna go back here, and uh, again, we can jump to different cameras. So this is inside the building, we can see that. 
and it even shows a little icon here of what camera is being used. Like I said, this right here is the uh, Gen 3 Flex. All the cameras on this system are uh, that camera. Uh, in the interface, we can actually uh, give permissions to other users. What it will do is it will email the user a link that will give them access to the system. Keep in mind that the user that you're sending the access to needs to have a Unify Protect uh, account first before they, you actually send them the invitation. Otherwise, you'll send them the invitation and then the link will take them nowhere. That's one thing that I've learned with this system and they probably need to improve on that. Uh, what I would recommend they do is have it so that if it sees that they do not have account assigned to that email address, it would automatically prompt them to create account. Uh, as of right now, if you send them the link and they do not have an account, uh, the link will essentially do nothing. Uh, it will bring them to the login page and they can't log in. It's kind of frustrating, but I think it's something that can be can be updated on. So keep in mind, tell your customers or whoever you're going to be giving this system to, to have them make a Unify Protect account first, then give them the invitation. And you can give them the, the invitation by going here to Users, and then it'll say Send uh, Invitation. Uh, you can have multiple controllers. Uh, the controller is essentially the NVR, the recorder that uh, is recording everything. The account would be your account and uh, the different settings for your account. Cameras, this shows us the cameras, how we see here. These are the list of users. Uh, activity, um, this would be the activity of the interface. And then settings, that would just be the overall settings of the interface. This video is just focusing on the general usage of the interface here. Uh, if we scroll down even more to the top here, we can see uh, add elements. So we can actually add um, another camera. But uh, we're not going to do that right now because uh, this is as many cameras as we're going to add right now. And uh, that's about it. If this uh, video was helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more information like this, subscribe for more. Uh, put a comment below. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.